Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the new billboard script included in billboard generator 2.5. Uh, so first we need a symbol object, <coughs> excuse me, like uh, this to do our testing using it. Symbol pyramid with three colors and we need a material that has the standard shader and a fade rendering mode then we will need to go to tools winterbolt games billboard generator dock it somewhere drag the pyramid game object and put it right here select the pyramid object and start tweaking our properties in my case i'm going to need a 36 direction billboard so i'm going to type here 36 <coughs> excuse me I'm going to need a texture width of 256 and 256. I'm going to have a background color that's completely transparent. I'm going to use a non orthographic camera. So let's go ahead and set the, uh, disable this. And then let's set our field of view to 60 degrees. Set the clear flex to solid color, which sometimes says color, not a big deal. And now it's weak where our camera should be when uh, generating the billboard so let's use the main camera as a guide let's say we want it to be at um, negative 6 maybe yeah or let's say negative 8 whatever let's go negative 6 and let's choose we would like to rotate on the y-axis only let's click on generate and as you can see we have got a billboard generated using textures so I would like to increase the size of it a little bit so let's close the preview window set the Z to 4 maybe here you can see it got a little bigger let's add a little offset on the Y axis let's generate as you can see it's better now can increase the speed of the preview or decrease it in the preview window let's close it and go into our project and refresh it to add the new generated textures as you can see the these are all textures sorry let's just quickly skip over them and remove them <coughs> excuse me And this should take a little bit uh, sorry for the time because they, these are like 360 uh, 128 by 128 images and my BC isn't really that good okay so now we have these textures as you can see they are generated from the pyramid game object with a tr white transparent background and as you can see the angles are automatically calculated for you so let's select all of them set the compression quality to none the size to 256 filtering to trilinear no map maps and alpha is transparency you can tweak the settings as you like but I just like this um, a preset or this way let's click apply <coughs> and as you can see now we have our textures transparent and a little bit smooth so let's go in our um, pyramid object sorry let's and disable it and let's go in the billboard object and enable it now as you can see it's just a quad that has a billboard script with the following fields let's remove these textures uh, close these textures array okay so as you can see what we need is a target which will be used to rotate this object to face it it's usually your main camera and we'll need a snap value so for example if I want the billboard to rotate say every 45 angles I set this to 45 and so on but since here we have 36 um, uh, billboards let's say we will need every 10 angle every 10 degrees we will need a rotation 
the angle and the index if you set them right now they will be overridden at runtime so they, these are just used for debugging or demonstration purposes and also the angle to target is the same as the index and angle it's set at runtime and doesn't really do anything if you set it in the editor beforehand so the quad is the transform of the quad you would like <coughs> excuse me to change its rotation to face the camera or to face your target and the mesh is the mesh renderer attached to your <coughs> excuse me I'm very sorry to your uh, quad or to whatever object you would like to apply the textures to. The textures array is where you select your textures or billboard textures and drag and add it to it. And for each of these um, textures, an index will be calculated using the current angle between the billboard and your target and will choose an index automatically. Keep in mind that you need to have your um, textures in the correct order so for example the zero angle at the first index the tenth angle at the sorry the 10 degree angle at the second index and so on depending on your snap value otherwise unintended behavior might occur so once you have set this up ju let's just go into the game mode or play mode and I have already created a simple camera movement script I have it in my main camera here. It just simply moves the camera around, and when you you, can, you are going to see that when I move my camera, it automatically rotates the object. And it automatically calculates the angle for us. As you can see, if you select if you select the billboard texture, angle and index are correctly calculated. And then there is no need for you to intervene or do anything. Just give the textures and set the right values. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.